there comes a point in your life where you live so much life and learn so much that you can never in good conscience say men and women are equal. That's wreck. That's crazy to say. Equal, it's like a yin and a yang, right? Now, the white side is not the same as the black side, but they exist in perfect harmony, 50% of each, right? Serve different purposes. I, yeah, you guys serve like 10% of the purpose, and we're 90%. I could, I could get on board with that. I'm saying I think it's equal. But at the end of the day, I look forward to the day that I'm going to have to explain to my child that you will never be able to deadlift as much as me. You have a girl, right? Yeah. I don't really look forward to that because I just think it's going to be kind of like a weird conversation one day. But isn't that like at some point you have to have that conversation of like, yeah, you're just not going to be able to be in the NBA. It's not going to happen. You're not going to be able to do NBA, philosophy, engineering, (laughs) science. You just spoke to a porn star as an engineer. She destroyed me. Edit that part out. I had, <laughs> who the fuck would have guessed Adri? I'm the dropout and she destroyed me. Adri's got school. And she was laughing at me back there. She's like, yeah, you didn't know. It's like, damn, you set me up, bro. I feel like she handled you pretty well. Yeah, they're super stoked. She didn't so, walk out. They were, be- they were glowing. They were so happy. Did you feel like there was a walkout that was possible there for a moment? No. I was really wondering, like, is this possible? There will never be a walkout with me because my charm is overwhelming. Right, mm. G- girls. As much as they're seething, angry, they'll listen all day. I'm, Holly, fu- I'm fucking Santa Claus to them. Holly, are men and women equal? <sighs> no, <laughs> I guess not. I Dude, guess not. Check this out. Yeah, a 14 year old boy mm-hmm. can they beat the shit out of every woman on earth. A 14 year you guys lose to a 14 year old. A, 14, a child would fuck you up. You think Some, a 14 year old fuck me up? You know, Have you ever seen in, the women's UFC fight? divisions? There's a lot of tough chicks out yeah. there. Nah, and, they're and, on testosterone, bro. That's not the no, same. No, they shit. test them for that. I mean, a lion could eat you alive. Are you inferior on every moral and physical level? Now, how am I inferior when I fucking blast the lion with a gun? Okay, then she <laughs> can pull out a gun and shoot a 14 year old. No, she point? can't. A woman can't even squeeze it. Ah, it hurt. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of women who are capable of shooting firearms. I've shot a firearm. Most before. women shoot a gun with their eyes closed. Do they? Yeah. Me, I, I look you in your eyes. I'm a <laughs> I cold do. motherfucker. I take your fucking life. I look you in the eyes. Yeah. When girls shoot, like, oh, there's a criminal, they close their eyes, bro. It is hard for me to imagine my girl shooting a gun. But I know there are women who do shoot guns. Yeah. You just go to the shooting range. It's not, you keep your eyes open. It's all right. But you don't have the gull to pull the trigger. What is the gull? The gall? Like, if someone enters their house, they'll hesitate. If someone enters my house, that mailman is dead, bro. (laughs) That guy is dead. I don't hesitate. I go, yo, this is my lucky day. I'm going viral. Have you shot someone before? No, no, never. You have to save your, your powers. Ah, uh, true. You have to conserve true. your powers. Just you can't in just, case. Yeah, yeah, But he yeah. could do it if necessary. But she's Australian. And I yeah. feel like Australia has a very weird political climate right now. So Cur- I don't know how she's going to react to some of the things that, she, that you say, Zerka. Courage is a male thing. If North Korea invaded us right now, with all due respect, mm-hmm. you guys are like as useless as Lego blocks. What, Australia? If we got invaded right now... Adam would kick you guys out this fucking studio and keep me. That's what he'd do. He'd be like, yo, we're going to war. If it was a post-apocalyptic society, I'm probably going to keep Nicole Doshi and Zerka, yeah. <laughs> I just fair. feel like she would be like a pretty obedient like servant <laughs> in, in a time of need. <laughs> Have you seen women in war zones? They get shell-shocked before they even land. Kazumi's too American. She's going to be talking back too much in, like, the post-apocalyptic world that I'm imagining. I feel like Nicole yeah. Doshi would kind of just be back. down. I just, like, just say listen okay. and serve. But you don't understand. This is, like, the apocalypse happened. Like, we're not fucking. Shit is too real. I would eat you. Kazumi? <laughs> you don't yeah, I would eat you, too. You would eat me? Yeah, I would eat you. I was, I've been watching The Last of Us, so I've been thinking a lot about if, if it came down to it, what it would be like to eat a person. I don't think it wouldn't be that bad. It seems pretty bad. It seems like it's really destroying their morale on the show. Mm. It's hard to be positive about life when it's not like you're just eating a stranger. They had to like eat some girl's dad, I think. Oh yeah, that's kind of fucked yeah. up. And they had to tell her, "We ate your dad." Oh, no. they didn't tell her before. <laughs> He's never coming back. I don't know what they. I think they lied to her. Oh yeah. But I think she kind of knew they were lying. 
Yeah. And then she's eating her dad. I think. I don't know. I was, I was pretty high when I watched it. Um, Nicole Doshi. Yeah. How do you feel about the way men treat women here in America versus the way that it was perhaps where you grew up? Okay, so I love America. I think men treat me here better than China because, like, Chinese people, they're very respect but also very strict. Mm. Mm. And racist. Like, I, I, my, I, I got black homies that been to Beijing, and they're like, whoa, that place, is, they're like, U.S. is like heaven compared to Beijing. It gets racist, bro. Is it? It's like racist? people you people take a... pictures, and well, yeah, it's... Yeah, they, no they, love, they love Western people there. We treat them like a god. We treat them like a celebrity. That's not what if you said. are going to China right now, there will be a line lined up to take picture with you. Yeah, of like with your my experience going to too. China is that just being white slash like having tattoos slash being tall, mm. people were acting like I was a fucking freak show, and yeah. people were taking pictures of me, and it, it was weird as fuck. But it's just so rare. There's so fucking few white people out there. There's so few tall people. Tattoos are super crazy to them. Yeah. I, yeah. This was like 10 plus years ago, but I assume it's still like that. So yeah, I feel like you would you would be a popular guy just for being tall. Yeah. I would be the tallest guy in the yeah. whole fucking country. Chinese girl would love you. Yeah, but I'm trying to say, you know, U.S. got problems, but when you travel the world, you go, other countries are a lot more racist. You know, in the Balkans or Med Mediterranean area, right? They ask you where you're from before they give you a fucking coffee. Like, if you're Turkish and they don't like Turks, like, the world is racist. U.S., U.S. is kind of mild, bro. I don't get the well, hype. Well, that's yeah. not true. When I first got to Nebraska, it was pretty racist. Oh, that's really? a shithole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe. Get us to 500K. Yeah.